up, y'all? Jesse and Melissa here with Adventure Endeavor. Today we are gonna be talking about our vehicles and our home. So our home is a Imagine travel trailer. And then we have our Ram 2500. And we have our Jeep Grand Wagoneer. And we're gonna tell you why we love overland. Yes. Off-roading, free running, whatever you wanna call it, many names. We live in our RV full time and we have for the past three years and we love, we still love overlanding and off-roading so much that we have now ourselves two fully capable overlanding off-roading vehicles. In this video, we're gonna kind of break down why this is such a strong passion of ours and go into all those details. <music> So overlanding is basically vehicle based travel. Lots of times it'll be like a truck or a Jeep or an SUV, something that is somewhat off-road capable with some stuff that make it easier. Maybe like a portable fridge, maybe like an awning or a tent, or you can sleep in a ground tent or whatever. Off-roading obviously is off-roading. You know, you have four wheel drive type of like crazy rock crawling. You know, we like the, to go fast, which is more like pre-running and that's what the Jeep is built for and the Ram, they both go pretty fast. And basically we got into this a very long time ago. I have personally had many vehicles. I used to have a Wrangler, then I built a Cherokee, and then I built a Ford Explorer, and then we built the Ram. We took that all over the place. And now we have the Wagoneer as well. So before RVing, it was a huge part of our lives. We were hardcore weekend warriors. We went out almost every weekend just trying to find some dirt trails, rock crawling, tent camping, overland, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter, nobody cares. And then we got outside of our radius of like, you know, three, four, five hours for a weekend trip and eventually we got into full-time RV. Yeah, basically our lifestyle and our preferred style of travel before was car camping, overlanding, that kind of like more rustic type of camping and mm -hmm. adventuring and exploring. Road trips, that kind of thing, where we would camp like in places that were far away. And it just got to be where we were exhausting our options and we wanted to go further and further away and not do the same trails or the same areas that we had already done over and over again. So yeah, we decided to transition to RVing and that would give us an opportunity to get to new places where we could then go and do off-road trails from new, completely new locations. Yeah, I mean, you guys gotta remember, we live in this trailer 24 seven. So when we go out, it doesn't necessarily feel as though we are camping. This is home and our home just moves to new places. We're in it 24 seven. So it's also nice to get out of the trailer, get out of our element and do something different like sleeping in a tent or, you know, for a while we had a rooftop tent and different things like that. And that's one of the things we really like about off-road camping, yeah. overlanding, I don't know, whatever. It's basically just like when you might take a vacation away from your house. Um, if you like to go camping on the weekends and, and that kind of thing, like stay at a campground or whatever, maybe you even have your own RV. It's very similar for us when we are living and working in this RV 24 seven, we don't often have a lot of opportunities to get out of the trailer. And then it also gives us that advantage of being able to come back to the trailer after a weekend away and feeling refreshed by our space that we actually live in. So a big factor for us as well is the fact that when you just get into vehicles, you can go to much more remote places and see things that you're not able to see if you're hauling a trailer around. Don't get me wrong, there's lots of times when you can get close to these areas, you can park your trailer, get it set up, and then go out for a day trip, but there's just something about just taking a four wheel drive trail and it goes from one point to another and you're seeing things along the way and then you set up your camp, your tent, you're in the middle of nowhere, there's no one around. You know that only a certain amount of vehicles can make it to that area. That's just like refreshing, it's cool, it's exciting. We love it, we just absolutely love it. For us, 
Overlanding feels more rustic and adventurous than RV travel does. We were never really RV travelers before we started doing it full time. So it's just that aspect of it brings in like a refreshing perspective. And we feel that sometimes like RV life gets to be a little bit too easy for us because it just is our daily life. You know what I mean? So we just kind of find ourselves often just kind of get stuck in like our routine, just like you can in any lifestyle, honestly. So getting out of the trailer and going on overlanding trips really helps us feel refreshed and like we're getting back to our roots of like more rustic camping. Yeah, and it just mixes up your daily life. I think that's extremely important. And then on the other hand as well, you know, camping in a tent in, you know, 20 degree weather with six inches of snow is hard. As we get older, we've noticed that in life, doing things that are hard are normally worth it. Like if you like think about something and you're like, oh, that that seems hard, that seems difficult. Mm -hmm. That most likely means you should do that thing. Maybe not camping in snow in 20 degree weather, but for us, it creates challenges in our lives and we are constantly seeking more and more of that because we know it is a benefit in the long run. Yeah, we definitely don't like letting ourselves get too comfortable with our lifestyle because comfort unfortunately breeds complacency and we like to mix it up constantly so that we don't get complacent. Yeah, that was a big reason we kind of got rid of the fifth wheel too. It just became too easy. So if you're familiar with our channel at all, you have probably already seen that we absolutely love off-roading and 4x4 trails. It's challenging, it's like solving a puzzle, it's a lot of fun, it's really exciting to see what our vehicles are capable of and I mean, I'm constantly impressed by what we're able to do and the, the types of terrain that we're able to drive over with our rigs. Yeah, I mean, there's people who like puzzles, for instance, and a puzzle is challenging in a sense. This is just like an extreme puzzle where you can break stuff and spend a lot of money. But we love it. And when you combine that with the just being out in the wild and the camping it's just there's just something about it in combination that just makes it so fun exciting and yeah i don't know we just really love it guys we definitely feel like we connect with nature better when we are overlanding versus when we just take the rv somewhere because like i said this is our house it feels like it's just in our house so we know a lot of you might follow us for more of our rv travels or of our rv tech videos or whatnot we just want you to understand that this is a big passion of ours and this was our life before we started rving and now that we have the Jeep, it seems like some of you maybe are into the Jeep, some of you are not into the Jeep. But just keep in mind, it's a hobby that we had beforehand and we kind of felt like we had to give it up for a while when we hit the road. And we would take the Ram off-road a little bit here and there. But now having the two vehicles and being one of them being more capable and it just feels a lot safer having the two vehicles and the two of us going out rather than going solo in one vehicle. That was kind of the main reason for it. And we just kind of want you guys to understand that this is a big part of our lives and hopefully it interests a lot of you as well. Yes, so in conclusion, as we have already said multiple times, we are very passionate about this style of travel and just this style of exploration. It mixes up RV travel and it gives us problems to solve. And all of those things are just really exciting for us and we hope that you find them exciting and entertaining as well. Yeah, like always guys, thank you so much for watching. Can you, can, oh my God. Consider checking out our channel memberships if you want to get some added perks to following along with us as well. But like always, the best way to support us is to share, watch, like, comment, and give us a high five. don't have a shower tonight and we also don't have a toilet so we're gonna have to dig a hole if we have to use the restroom uh, but you know with an RV we would not be able to fit in this spot right here so mm -hmm.